What's going on my spicy people? My name is Dan the Man. Welcome back to another Thomas Friends reaction video here on my channel where I'm going to be reacting to the last episode or another episode of of, Tom, of the Thomas the Trains Adventure series by I Love, by I Love Trains 223. That's it guys, I'm back with another video and I'm about to react to the, I guess, the last final episode of the series probably. Not the actual last final episode, but more like the ending of season 3 because I think all the episodes I've been reacting to from season 21 to 30, this one right, this right here was all season 3, probably was. Now I don't know if I will react to, to any, to more of the TTTA videos, maybe I will in the future, depends on what will happen because, you know, to see what Nathan, Mainland, and <clears throat> Epic think, because if you three lads would like me to react to or mostly Nathan, if you're watching this and would like me to react to more of your videos, like the Battle of the Bus one and Henry Henry's new record, which yes, I do know about those ones, and I guess some others, then let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll react to those when I get a chance to. And yeah. Anyways, I think that's all I can say right now, except for one more thing real quick. Um, after I'm done reacting to this video here, I'm gonna take a bit of a short break from reacting to all the TTTA videos because I've been reacting to them for like a week now and now that I completed my mission of reacting to all 30 of them or this one right now if I, if I get a chance to, I will be I, I, I will be taking a little break but I'm thinking of doing a live stream later today after this, you know, because why not? The reason why I'm making another live stream is because I'm gonna be getting, you know, another live stream like I did with my other ones, a character voice acting myself type of fun live stream like how I did with the last one the last one went well and it was fun to make with Andrew Mickey and all that and yeah I guess I'm making my life I guess I'll make my live stream later when everyone's around that is because it is Saturday and everyone should be off then right maybe almost everyone anyways uh videos aside I'm gonna be reacting to the next episode which is gonna be this year yeah, today I'm going to be reacting to episode 30, which is the last episode of season 3 of the TTTA series, and it's called The Duke and the Earl. Now, you guys remember Duke, you know, the old the old the old narrow gauge engine that was locked up in a shed in a shed for 20 years and all that. Well, apparently and then he got fa and he was found later. And I think he know and I think he was known as uh what was he? Yeah, he was named after his grace, the Duke of Sodor, if you guys remember that. Yeah, th there was him, and then there's the Earl, you know, the one in charge of Alstead Castle. I didn't think this was—I didn't think this was possible, but apparently, the the Duke Duke's grace is the Earl's father, meaning that the the Earl is the Duke's son. Y y you guys get what I'm saying? I, I I don't know if Duke's gonna have a happy or sad reaction to meet the Earl, knowing that he's his grace's son or something like that, however I'm trying to say this correctly, but it is going to be interesting to see, you know, how they both be acquainted and knowing their grace after a little while or something like that. I don't know what to say anymore. Except for this though, I am, I am planning on reacting to Mainland and Epic's videos pretty soon when I get a chance to, but I feel like, you know, reacting to this, do my live stream as I mentioned, and then that's it. And maybe do a little bit of 4th of July special too afterwards. But anyways, without further ado, let's get this started, because I'm excited to see how this goes with the two of them meeting each other and knowing about their grace. But before I do, however, make sure you guys check out the original video down below the description, subscribe to I Love Trains 323 because it makes really great videos, and don't forget to follow me on my social medias, Twitter and Discord, links will be down below the description. And of course, let's get this started in 3, 2, 1, and let's play! Alright dudes, and I got the video up right here, episode 30 of the TTTA series, The Duke and the Earl. Now, like I said, guys, this is the last video of season. This is the last episode of season three of the of the T of the Tom's the Trains Adventure series that I've been reacting to for like a while. I think there are some episodes of season two I might have skipped or something, but these were these were worth watching, you know, like for fun, like really they were they were worth it. Because if Nathan enjoyed my reaction to these videos and so did, you know, Mainland and Ep Epic, then. You know, why not I react to their videos next up as well? Because I'll get a chance to when I when I have time, that is. Anyways, without further ado, let's get this started. Because this might go for at least 22 minutes, which should be a good time. I got the volume up, and hopefully you guys will be able to hear me in the video. I think it should be good. Yeah, okay, it should. 
And again, check out the original video down in the description. Subscribe to I Love Train C23 because it makes really great videos. And of course, let go. Where's my guy? What's this? Oh. Yep. Yep. You just had to pull that on me, didn't you, Nathan? It's okay, I get it. In loving memory of Michelangelo. You guys remember this guy here, Michelangelo? I made a video about him like a few, uh, like a month, a month ago or something. Was it in May? Yeah, like a, a, month, a month ago in May. And it's still sad to know that the longtime UK narrator that narrated the show had passed away from a heart attack and all that. Again, I, I know I say this every time, but when I see his face or something like that, I still want to respect him, you know, because because uh, to be honest, he's one of my favorite narrators. He's like my number one favorite, to be honest. And I know I'm American and all that, but come on, like, there are a lot of good narrators in the Thomas community, you know, especially the ones of the show or something like that. So yeah, rest in peace to you, Michelangelis. You're the greatest narrator we all know and love. Hope you're, I hope you're in a safe place up in the sky with George Carlin, Peter Fonda, Russell Means, Doug Lexine, and those that we have, Wilbert, Wilbert Audrey, and those we have lost throughout this whole, throughout this whole community or these past few years. Thank you again for everything, and rest in peace to you, Michelangelis, from me and from those, or <clears throat> that's how it goes. Yeah, rest in peace to you, Michelangelo. We'll always remember you. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, sad stuff aside, because I, I don't want to think about anything sad right now. Let's just get on with this video, right? Yeah, here we go. So, yeah. All right, here we go. Is Michelangelo is Michelangelo one of your favorite narrators? Let me know in the comments below because, or actually, wait, did I mean I didn't mean to say that? I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Tom's the Train's Adventures, created by Nathan. Yep. Well then, I guess this video is to dedicate, I guess this video is to dedicate Michelangelo, huh? I, bet, I guess, I, I'm assuming it is, or I guess it is. Recipes to him still. Anyways, let's just uh, get on with this video because I'm excited. Because I'm about to react to, because I'm about to react to Defenders of Sodor after this. And yeah, I want to get a chance to. Anyways. The Duke and the Earl. Let's do this. The Duke and the Earl. So what do we got? Told by the narrator is Terror 55 Stepney. And hey, there's Duke. One day, Duke was resting in the shed when Peter, Sam, and Sir Handel came up to see him. One, two, uh -oh. three. Wake, Wake up, up, Grandpa! There we go. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, you. It's you and Pat and Scallywags. Yeah. <laughs> them. You didn't forget, did you? I, I never forget anything. Uh, oh, what, what exactly am I not forgetting again? You're coming to work with us at the Blue Mountain Quarry today. Mm, all right, mm -hmm. all right. I'm, I'm coming. <clears throat> Go on ahead. <clears throat> Bye. Impunid scallywags. Good morning, Your Grace. Ah, look at that. The Grace, Your Majesty. <laughs> Anyways. Hey Paxton, looks like the narrator hasn't said anything in a while, has he? I miss the good old days where I could go to the quarry for peace and quiet. Too late for that. Now you're here. What do you think, Grandpa? It's loud and noisy. You always have something to be grumpy about, don't you, Grandpa? Probably. And you don't, Sir Handel? Even Duncan. Sir Handel, Peter Sam. Oh, I see you've brought Duke. Yep. Time I showed you youngins how to really run a quarry. Nice. Alright, good luck, Duke. I'm older than you. No, you're not. He's older than you. Stay right there. Duke worked at the quarry all morning. Here we go. Narrator. And he stopped on the bridge. Look sharp, Crane. Oh, there's the crane. Oh, hello, Duke. Hey. Sleeping on the job. Hmm. That would never suit his grace. Sorry about him. He's like that. Never suit Whenever his grace Duke indeed. Whenever saw something he didn't like, which was frequently, he would say the same thing. Yeah. That would never suit his grace. It would. I mean, it was just a cleanup. That would never suit his grace. It was just an accident. Yeah, they're not happy about him. 
He's hard working though. I'll give him that. <gasps> Look out. Oh, okay, there's Luke. Whew. Oh, oh, sorry, Duke. I didn't hear you coming. Respect your elder, youngin. Zooming around the quarry like that would never suit, suit his, his grace. grace. We get it. I'm sorry if you're upset still, but come on. It wasn't Luke's fault. Whatever. Renee and Scar looking at each other like, this guy's nuts. This guy's nuts, or something like that. Anyways. <clears throat> Duke, I'm sorry about nearly hitting you today. <clears throat> no, no, it's all right, youngster. Just don't do it again. <laughs> Just, um, one question, Duke. What? Hmm? Who's His Grace? Ah, His Grace. Hmm? His Grace is the Duke of Sodor. Duke of Sodor? I'm named after him. Nice. He came to my naming ceremony and... Hmm? He's gone now. Oh. Duke, I'm so sorry, I... It's not your fault. Come on, Grandpuff. It's time to go home. <laughs> All right. I'm coming, you impudent scallywag. See? Scallywag. I don't think Luke mean to upset Duke, did he? Nah, probably not. Anyways. Here are... Next day, Luke had to take a train of stone to Alstead Castle. Yep, Alstead Castle. He was still thinking about Duke, and wanted to do something to make him feel better. That's nice. Yeah, it's you guys. Bonjour, Luke. Hi, Millie. Hey there, Millie. You're here early, little fella. The Earl hasn't even come to give us the day's briefing. No, yeah. Everything all right, Luke? <sighs> it's about Duke. When I asked him about his grace last night, he became all distant and sad. So not your fault, you know? Good morning, engines. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Morning, Your Majesty. Right. We have a lot if, of tours to do. If he is Your Majesty. Everyone. Yeah. Oh dear. Too many tours, I think. What do you mean, sir? <sighs> I need to look at the schedule again. I've overbooked everyone again. Oh dear. Come back in about half an hour when I've sorted this out. I was trying to make like a little face pressure of him since he didn't move his face that much. Um, excuse me, sir. Oh, hello, Luke. <clears throat> I see you've brought the stone. You seem down. What's wrong? <sighs> Have you ever met an engine named Duke, sir? Probably did. He works on your railway, yes? He knows about him. Yes, sir. He constantly talks about his grace, sir. But when I asked him about it last night, he became all sad. Oh, 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 oh. Duke's grace was my father, the Duke of Sodor. I told you! He passed away during the war, so I guess I'm Duke's grace. I told you. You're Duke's grace? Yep. But that means if he came here, maybe he wouldn't be upset anymore. Yeah. Like if Duke's here, maybe I could cover the tours I've overscheduled. Maybe. You are a very clever little engine, Luke. I'll call the fit controller right away. Yeah. See, I told you the Earl was the the Duke the Duke's son, and it, and if he is, then he's Duke's grace, you know. I I told you because it's in the title and all that. When Duke heard he was going to work for his grace at Ulfsig Castle, he was overjoyed. Nice. I haven't seen his grace in years. It'll be just yeah. like old times <clears throat> when he used to visit me on the Mid Sodor. Ah. Uh. Grandpa, it isn't the same. Shush, Peter, Sam. Let him have his happiness for a bit. Yeah. It's better than seeing him in a bad mood all the time I mean, anyway. Yeah, probably. Forget I even did that. Here we are. Duke rolled up towards the castle, excited to see his grace. After so many years. I can't believe it. I have to thank Luke for this. I think you'll thank him less, probably. It is such an honor to know you want to see me, your girl, Robert. <laughs> Robert? Yep. But, but what happened to his grace? <laughs> Here we go. You've just found him. Um, uh, yes. It... What he means is that he is he is your grace's son. It's good to see you, your, mm -hmm. your grace. Yep. Welcome to Ulfstead Castle, Duke. Is it okay? Hmm, probably is. Right. You'll start tours now, if you don't mind. Just a quick one around the estate to help you learn the route. All right. Yes, your grace. He's definitely not happy now. Not in a good mood. Wait, Duke, stop! What's that? Is that something? 
Must have got him blown out of the office by the wind. Really? Sorry, Duke. I have a bit of a habit of keeping the window open. <laughs> That's not even funny. I feel this pain right now. It's not the same. It's not the same. I know, but you'll have to get used to Offset Castle and all this. Duke found his first tour pleasant. The estate was quiet, and his passengers, for the most part, didn't complain. That's good. However, he was still upset about the Earl. Ah. His grace yep. wouldn't leave papers out on the line. It's not the same. It's not the same. Poor Duke. Oh dear. He's not very happy, is he? I mean, yeah, he isn't. Now what? And then the sled broke away with Sir Topham on it. There was a bit of a chase afterwards with Thomas, but it was all great fun. I remember that episode with the, the sled, I think, Thomas and the sled. I forgot what it was called, but you guys remember that episode where, you know, Thomas was dressed up like Rudolph because of the branch on his funnel and a, a, a red nose on his, on his nose? Yeah, there was that, and Sir Thomas dressed up like Santa, and there was the sled. You guys remember that episode? Because I do. It was like a few Christmases ago. Anyways. What on earth is he doing? Making people laugh, that's what. a bit eccentric. Eccentric? Not refined in this life is... An earl should be dignified. An example, <clears throat> not some clown for everyone to laugh at. Come on. Sure, he's not traditional. Don't be like that. That's part of what makes him unique. He's nothing like his father. Is there something wrong with that? Oh. Probably is. I don't think I know what eccentric is. Is that eccentric? I forgot what Steven said, but yeah, I don't know if I know what that means. But anyways. That evening... After an ordinary day of tours, the Earl gathered his engines at the sheds. Alright. Uh, sir, since it's Wednesday, who is going to be pulling the photography tour tonight? Photographers? Photography tour. <laughs> Once a week, the Earl's friends come over at night to take pictures of the estate. Okay. It's great fun. I bet it is. I'd prefer my sleep, thank you. Yeah. Duke? I was wondering if you would like to pull the train this evening. Called it. A bit of a welcome of sorts. No, thank you, Your Grace. I'd rather sleep. I don't know, Duke. Pulling those photography trains is quite an honor. I'd certainly want to take it if I was offered. You could if you all want. All right, all right. I'll do it. Never mind. Marvelous! He's gonna do it. Come to the platform as soon as you're ready. He's gonna say, At your age, you impertinent scallywags. Tell that to them. I think Duke's probably older than all of them, but at least he's. They're like. I don't know. What's he talking about? Or I don't know. Duke backed onto an open coach in the platform and noticed the Earl talking enthusiastically to his friends. Enthusiastically, okay, this I get it. is Duke, everyone. He's been working here at the castle on tours. For a while. I thought he would like a special train to make you feel welcome. It's always a pleasure, Your Grace. Really? I don't think it is, to be honest. Duke was expecting a quiet run. However, when they reached the more woodland part of the estate... Hmm? Duke, stop! What happened? Is something wrong? Shh! Back up a bit, Duke. I need to get the shot of that deer. I haven't gotten one yet. Bruh! That's a bra moment right there, dude. Bra moment. No, no, no. That's too far. It's way out of frame now. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Duke was stuck moving back and forth to get pictures in the right place for the next three hours. Wow, okay. And by the time he returned to the shed, he was both exhausted and furious. Yep. Unbelievable. Peasants were not that picky back in my day. Nope. But this time they are, though. It was high in the sky, and it didn't <clears throat> take long for him to fall asleep. Still rather upset. Mm -hmm. However, that didn't mean he didn't dream of memories past on the mid Sodor Railway. Nice. Oh, smudger. Number two. Or Smudger, as the workman called him, for yep. his rough riding, was a crass engine who worked with Duke on the Mid Sodor Railway. He did, but he was careless. He was constantly going wrong and coming off the rails. He was always careless, because he's Smudger, you know? Whenever Duke would try to warn him, he would say, <laughs> Listen, Dookie, who worries about a few spills? We do here. <laughs> that was the thing right there, you know? Oh yeah, it'd be my, like me with my Smudger and Duke voice. I want to try real quick. Listen, Doogie, who worries about a few spills? We do here, I said, but Smudger just laughed. <laughs> Something like that, you know? 
but Smudger just laughed. I still remember running back to the YTP of it. Anyways. One day, the manager told Smudger to take a passenger train. Mm -hmm. But I hate passengers! They always complain the way I do my job! Really useful engines don't argue, number two. Aye, aye, quit your belly aching, I'm going. Anyways. I think he would have been a, a good little... along the line. He bumped the coaches hard. Oh boy. The passengers were very shaken. That's bad. Oh dear. Such a rough engine. We don't want to ride with him anymore. <laughs> uh, that was so then. I feel like he would have made a good little assistant for Diesel At 10, you know, station, like his little pal. Was taken off the train. Just saying. Rolled onto a siding. It's possible. Anyways. <laughs> Wanna get rid of passengers? Gotta give him a rough ride, Dookie. That will never suit his grace, Smudger. Anyways. Well, old friend, you've given me an idea. Oh no, I don't like this idea of his at all. Duke was preparing to take the first train of the day when he heard a whistle. It's Spencer, and it looks like he's brought the Duke and Duchess with him. This will be a bit of a surprise. Welcome, Duke and Duchess. Thank you for being so welcoming. We are looking forward to our private tour around the estate. Mm -hmm. Private tour? Hmm? For some reason, they want to have the little coffee pot tour them around the estate. Don't see why they would want to when they have the fastest engine in the world at their disposal. Because you're too big for the rails, probably. Excuse me, Your Grace. Uh-oh. Yes, Duke? If it isn't too much trouble... Could I take the Duke and Duchess on their tour? Um, certainly, Duke. If you don't mind, of course. Not in the slightest, Sir Robert. Come on, dear. This is not going to end well. Show them a smooth ride, Duke. Nope. Smooth. Don't worry. I will. Smooth. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there he goes. Rock, rock it off. <laughs> oh, show off. Says you. Duke about throughout the whole ride. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> he bumped the coach every chance he got, and gave the Duke and Duchess of Boxford a very uncomfortable ride. I don't think I want to see this. Of his grace, his grace will never suit that, you know. Well, okay, I, that was bad. That was, oh my god! My Ooh. goodness, are you alright? Wow. That engine gave us a very rough ride. That was bad. There's something wrong with him. He needs maintenance done immediately. What? Yep. Duke, please go to the shed. We need to have a talk. Later afterwards. Yes, your grace. See what see what you've done? You shouldn't have listened to Smudger, dude. But you did anyway. Duke stayed in the shed all day. He was furious about his plan not working. Oh well. But he didn't have much time to think about it. Here he comes. Your Grace. Duke, I can tell that you were expecting my father when you came up here. Not me, but... I was expecting his Grace, not a buffoon. I'm sorry, Duke, but there's very little I could do to change that. It's clear you haven't matured from when you were a young boy. Probably I not. have been living my life as a perfectly functional member of society. Mm. While you were trapped in a shed for 20 years, don't talk to me about not being mature. And whose fault is that? You never came to rescue me. I didn't even know you existed until you were found. No excuse. Your father came to visit me once a month back in the days on the Mitsodor. And not once did he mention me to you. You probably just didn't listen. I was a boy. I don't remember much of them. That explains a whole lot. You've been living in the past! At least I can think of the past. You're constantly focusing on some future harebrained waste of your father's money. An estate like dinosaurs. You are a stain on your father's legacy. He's probably rolling in his grave. And how would you know what my father thought? Nothing. Because you probably would know better than me. Really? Your, your grace... I'm so... My father died when I was seven, Duke. 
Do you have any idea what that's like? I do. Growing up without a father figure? I do. No, but I'm sure Falcon and Stuart do. Like you said, locked in a shed for 20 years. I'm losing memories of him every day. I've missed him since I was a boy, and seeing you was a reminder of him. I still miss him, Duke. I still miss him. I miss him too. <laughs> you know, Robert, whenever your father would visit me on the Midsummer after you were born, you'd always talk to everyone about some silly thing you did, like uh, without your baby food or saying your first word. Oh well. He loved you, Robert. I'm sure he'd be proud of what you've done with his estate. Hmm. Even I have to admit it is quite impressive. Yeah. You've grown into a remarkable man. Even if you are nothing like your father, please forgive an old engine. You could. I'm not seeing that. Until now. Thank you, Duke. I've been perfectly awful, Your Grace. I need to make it up to you. Duke. You don't have to. No, Your Grace. I insist. It's my duty as your engine. Nice. Thank you, Duke. That's very kind. Although a little nap first would be nice. Probably. Go ahead, Duke. I'll schedule a tour for you in a few hours. That was that was sad right there, but nice at the same time, you know. Wow, that was something. A few days later, what? Sir Handel, Peter, Sam, and Luke all raced up to the castle to see Duke. Shouldn't they be at the quarry, though? I guess they're all gonna have to do a little something, right? I guess Luke's gonna join out on their little game to wake him up, huh? Probably. Here we go again. One, two, three. Wake up, Bernard! <laughs> These guys again. <laughs> you two never fail to get me with that one, do you? How are you, Grandpa? I admit that it took me some time to adjust, but once I got used to it, nice. I've come to love it. We're glad you're happy, Grandpa. Luke, it was very kind of you to send me here. Thank you, Duke. Time to I've the bell. I've give a tour now. Yep. And I expect you three have work to do as well. Now be off with you, you impertinent scallywags. Yep. See ya. You imp... You putinate scallywags. There's Nia. Climb, ab climb aboard, everyone. Is it safe? All clear, Duke. Alright. Off we go. And so what's the ending of the story? Guess giving them a tour, mostly. And here we have the castle grounds. Kept up by our groundskeeper in tip-top shape. Of course, the design of the foliage was made by Sir Robert himself, who happens to be on this train. Say hello to him, everyone. Nice. And then I... Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. That may not have suited his grace, but it suits mine just fine. Nice. <laughs> you said it, Duke. And from there on out, Duke work worked at Alfstead Castle with his grace. That is the Earl. Conclusion? Wow. You know what? That was great, actually. I think this was a really great video to not only to commemorate Michelangelo's, but to show, but to show, but to show a bit of a surprise and a moment of you know the of the Earl being the Duke the Duke of Sodor's son. And you know his father and all that, meaning that he was you know Duke's Duke is his engine now and all that. I'm sure it's probably what I'm saying, but that was great actually. I, I like that. Wow, I I'm honestly lost of words because this right here was a was a sad and happy moment, you know, because there was a sad moment at the end, but it turned out happy in the end because that's how some episodes should be or oh I don't know. This is written by the chase. Let's see, we got. Anthony Noble as Duke, as Duke, nice. There we got Crane Productions as Sir Robert. Let's see, it's the same. Oh, okay. I thought it was, yeah, Milia's Liz. I thought. I mean, I'm trying to see if I, there's anyone else here. I do know. Uh, Smudger. 
It, but Smudger just laughed. <laughs> oh, there's Yelin. Nice. But no Andrew Lee, I'll go. It doesn't matter. Well, that's it, everyone. Like I said, that is my reaction to episode 30 of the TTTA series, The Duke and the Earl, where we got to see... I saw a little thank you for watching season 3 on there. You're welcome. And that's the end. Boom! And that's it. Although, wait, what's this? Thomas the Train's Adventures will return in... Defenders of Sodor! Or Defenders of Sonar. I would say my own words. Man. And that's where I save this to enjoy all of it. The more the merrier, or something like that. Anyways, that's it, guys. That I, I, am, I have completed my reaction to all the episodes of Season 3. If I did... If I did do it right, that is. I don't know if I did it right or wrong. But I know that's the end. And the ending's right. Because you know why? Because now that's over with. I am going to react to Defenders of Sodor. The TTTA fan movie made by I Love Trains U23. And everyone else that has helped and worked on this. And many more. But that, however, will be a story for another day. Because, like I said, I think I'm going to take a little break from reacting to these videos Maybe do a few live stream. Maybe do a couple live streams and react to the other videos by Mainland and Epic. You know, that's what I'm gonna do. But again, this was a really nice episode. You know, it was it was the moment where the Earl got to be Duke's new Grace or his newborn Grace. I'm not sure, but this was really nice. You know, this I think this was a great way to commemorate Michelangelo's. And yeah, although there's. A Although there's a new video by the Unlucky Tug, might take a look at that later. But I, but if you guys are wondering when I will be reacting to Defenders of Sodor, I think I might do it either on fri on Friday or Saturday next week because you know me doing a couple live streams celebrating Fourth of July and all that. But there's another reason why I have to hold off here for a little bit. Yes, I am working on some comic dubs too, but I'm gonna have a guest in it. There's one I'm gonna be working with. And, uh, is that it? I'm not sure what to say anymore. But I do know that I'm done with this. And I'm out of thin this here because I don't want to make this video longer as it is. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then check out the original video down below the description. Uh, subscribe to I Love Trains to 3 And I hope you guys enjoy my reaction to all the episodes, especially this one, of the Thomas the Trains Adventures Season 3. Yeah, but everyone, like I said, that is my reaction to episode 30 of the TTTA series, The Duke and the Earl, and my, and the conclusion of me reacting to all the season 3 episodes of the Thomas the Trains Adventures by I Love Trains 323. Yeah, that's right guys, I'm done, and I really enjoyed this one, you know, because I liked it. It was like, you know, we got to see Duke again, and we got to see him heading to Alstead Castle, meaning to, meaning to see his grace, which or his new grace, which is, you know, the Earl who apparently is the Duke's, the, the Duke of Sodor's son, or something like that. And I, don't, I know I do repeat things a few times, but it doesn't matter, because whether I do that. I mean, I get Luke was, was sad a little bit, uh, dis I get that Luke was disappointed that he didn't know that it was his grace or something, like close to being it, but at the same time, he was happy that, to, to know that it was him, you know? Or as someone would say, well, it was like at the same time, but it was at the same time. Or <clears throat> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I just thought I had a bit of bad memory or something. But anyways, now that I'm done reacting to this, I'm going to I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here, like I said. Because I've reacted to all 10 episodes of these for like a week now. And I think I'm going to have to hold this off for right now. Which I hope Nathan, Mainland, and Epic would understand a little bit. Because I'm not saying anything or, or something like that. Because... I think I saw something on what they said on Twitter. I'm not sure, but I'll get to both of their videos and Defenders of Soda pretty soon. But for now, I'm gonna have to end this here. Maybe get off my live stream whenever I get a chance to before or after this. And I guess all I got to say. But I hope you guys enjoy my reaction to all the episodes of of all the season three episodes of the Thomas the Train's Adventures, because I did, and this one too, because this was a nice way to commemorate Michelangelo, you know? And I guess all I got to say here. So thank you guys again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button too because it's always free. You can unsubscribe if you want to or not subscribe, which is fine. Don't forget to turn on the bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video because I sure did. And let me know, and let me know in the comments below 
if um, if you guys are prepared for a Defenders of Sodor, because I am pretty soon when I get a chance to. Also stay tuned because I will do a reaction to one of Mainland and Epic's videos, so stay tuned for those, and stay tuned for my live stream that I will do when I get a chance to. And yeah, I guess some of the comments below if you want me to react to more of Nathan's videos before or, before or after Defenders of Sodor, and hey, maybe I'll get a chance to, you know? If there's a conclusion of what happened to it, like an alternate ending. Anyways, thanks again. I'm Dan the Man, and as always, I will see you guys next time in the next video. And stay tuned for my live stream because I'm gonna make it later today. Bye bye. This I got, I'm fine, but then some guys said that.